Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the Litpod question 132 pattern. So you are given an array of n integers nums. Uh, 132 pattern is a subsequence of three integers, nums i, nums j, and nums k, such that i is less than j, j is less than k, and uh, nums i is less than nums k, nums k less than nums j. Return true if there is a 132 pattern in nums, otherwise return false. So let's see the example. So you are given like a 1, 2, 3, 4. Output is false because in this question, k is a biggest index in uh, like a three uh, in indices. And uh, but uh, nums j is a biggest number in three numbers. So in this case, uh, input array is sorted. So there is no way uh, we can find the uh, uh, like a 132 pattern in input array that's why we should return false so let's see the example too so we are like a given one, 3142 so if index i is pointing 1 and uh, index j is pointing 4 and the index k is pointing um, 2 in this case k is the uh, biggest index and uh, 4 is the uh, biggest number, so it's a 1, 3, 2 pattern, so that's why output is true in this case. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So this is a true case. If index i is pointing 1 and uh, j uh, is pointing 4 and uh, k is pointing 2, in this case we should return uh, true. But uh, so this is an easy case because three numbers are like adjacent. So, but uh, what if one is index zero and uh, three is index one? In this case, uh, we also return true because if index i is pointing index zero, so yeah, uh, we meet uh, like a one, three, two pattern. So that's why we should return true. But problem is how can we keep the like a current max and the current minimum at the same time so to solve this question uh, we use stack so every time we find a number um, we compare current max uh, with current number and the current number is uh, greater than current max in that case, uh, I pop the uh, uh, current max from uh, stack and then uh, continue compare again. So yeah, uh, let's uh, begin. So first I find uh, one, uh, in, and uh, but there is no numbers in uh, stack. So in this case, I put one into uh, stack one. And also, uh, we calculate the minimum number so far. So in this case, one. And then move next, we find three. And uh, in this case, three is greater than current max. In the case, we pop one from stack and then add three to stack. And also, uh, we need to calculate the current minimum so far. And uh, the numbers we found so far is one or three, and the one is a, a smallest number so far. So in this case, I keep one as a minimum number, and then move next, and we find four, and I compare the ma current max three, and the four is greater than three. In that case, we pop three from ma uh, stack, and uh, add four to um, stack, and then uh, calculate the current minimum so far so still one is the smallest minimum uh, number so we keep the one as a minimum number and then move next we find two and uh, compare the current max so two is uh, less than four so here is an interesting point so important point and uh, so current number should be uh, like a uh, index k because uh, this is a uh, like a uh, this number is located at the uh, uh, biggest index number in three numbers right 
because uh, we already found uh, like a four or one. So this is a this should be a, a number with index k, and uh, so now k number is uh, less than four, and uh, in this case, four should be a like a place uh, in at the uh, index j, right? Because we find the uh, four after we find the uh, index, uh, we find the one, right? So that means this max number should be a, a number at index j. And then, so that means minimum number should be a number at index i. So if current number is less than max number and uh, greater than minimum number, actually we can we find uh, like a one, three, two pattern. So in this case, we compare two with four and uh, two is less than four and uh, compare uh, with a minimum number. So two is uh, greater than one. In this case, uh, we find the uh, one three two pattern, so that's why we should return true in this case. Yeah, uh, that is a basic idea to solve this question. With that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. Once you understand uh, the concept of this question, um, it's not difficult. So first of all, uh, initialize stack with empty array. And uh, initialize also current minimum uh, with um, number at index zero, and uh, start looping for n in nums, and uh, start from index one because I initialize uh, current minimum uh, with uh, number index zero here. So after that, while stack is has data and the uh, current number is greater than or equal stack and uh, the latest max number in stack so minus one and uh, zero because uh, we have uh, like a max number and a minimum number in stack so zero is a uh, um, max number in that case uh, we pop the number from stack. After that, if stack has data and uh, n is greater than stack and uh, minus one, so latest number in stack and uh, compared uh, with minimum number, in that case, um, we should return two, so because uh, we continue pop if we meet this condition, I mean stack has data and the current number is uh, greater than or equal the current max. And uh, once we finish uh, this while, and if stack has data, which means uh, stack has the larger number um, than current number. So that's why uh, if current number is greater than current minimum, uh, that means uh, we find uh, like a one, three, two pattern. So that's why we should return true. So after that stack, append and the uh, current number and the uh, current minimum and the uh, calculate current minimum equal mean current minimum versus current number after that we should return false yeah actually that's it so let me submit it
yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because uh, I iterate through all numbers in uh, input array. And the uh, space complexity is also order of n because uh, potentially I have to uh, put all numbers into stack. So let me summarize step by step algorithm. This is a step by step algorithm of 1, 3, 2 pattern. Step 1, initialize stack and the minimum number with a number at index 0. Step 2, start iterating. And uh, number 1, if stack has data, compare a current number with a maximum number in stack. If the current number is greater, than, greater or equal to the maximum number, then pop it from stack. Continue until you don't meet the condition. Step 2, if stack has data and the current number is greater than a minimum number in stack, then return true. 3. Append the current number and the current minimum number to stack. Update the current minimum if current number is less than current minimum. Step 3. Return false if you don't find a 1, 3, 2 pattern. Yeah, that's it. I hope this video helps you understand this question well. If you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.